Cooper Metro here. First of all, I want to say there no birds were harmed in the making of my tie. <laughs> but it's awesome, isn't it? My dresser does an amazing job, I think. Well, of course, my dresser. That's my mom. Kudos to her. I had my checkup today, and we can start tapering my medications and use the ones up that we have, and hopefully all will be well. I'm just hoping whatever it was does not come back. I was really sick, but it helped knowing that you all cared about me so much, so thank you. My mom was talking to my godmother, Sharon, the other day, and she brought up a really interesting topic, but of course she always does because she's so very smart. This may vary by breed, but in general, it's fair to say that cats shed some degree of winter coat in the spring and summer. Long-haired cats may shed more often, or it may seem to their humans that they leave fur, more fur around the house. <clears throat> and did you know that shedding is influenced by daylight, not temperature change? The changing length of days triggers the shedding process. So here's some other things about shedding, and I'll stick to felines because that's what I know best. Ta -da! Shedding fur is how cats keep their fur in good condition. If dead hair stays on a cat's body, it can cause irritation. The fine down-like fur beneath the glossy outer coat acts as an insulation. Even short-haired cats lose their coats in spring. Long-haired breeds such as the Norwegian forest cat or the Maine Coon cat shed so much fur in the summer, they can almost look like a different cat. <laughs> like me. <laughs> the only cats that don't shed fur are purebred hairless cats such as the Sphinx. Sphinx. Six sick cats don't shed as much fur as healthy cats. Shedding can be controlled with frequent brushing and combing, which helps remove loose hair and keeps the cat's coat healthy. Short-haired breeds, breeds such as Siamese need very little brushing, whereas long-haired such as Persian need brushing more frequently. If your cat has a heavy shed throughout the year, it may point to a food sensitivity or a drug allergy or dust allergy. Of course, feeding a cat a healthy diet with quality food can help keep their fur in good condition and lead to a healthy coat. If you're concerned with your cat's shedding, or if they're having problems with hairballs, your vet can provide advice so it's worth giving them a call. Right now, there's hair all over the, the place in our house, and I'd like to blame Maddie. You, know, you remember Maddie, my sister, who is a dog? But she doesn't shed. <laughs> so, I guess it's down to me. Cooper Marcher here. Ciao.